Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. My people, it's shocking and it's really very shameful to say that Malami and the federal government of Nigeria have abandoned the appeal. They have abandoned the case. They filed in the Supreme Court. And AJ4 have this to say. Giving more updates on Nandekano's detention after the October 13th, appeal court ruling that discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader, AJ4 said, we visited only in the today, the 7th November 2022, at the DSS headquarters, Abuja, to specifically brief him on the status of pending appeal before the Supreme Court, as well as being as bringing to is noble attention that our legal team, eminently led by Chief Michael Zeko Mersan, has equally filed a cross appeal within we are inviting the Supreme Court to review certain aspects of the Court of Appeal judgment being appealed against. Onyendo was also informed that the federal government of Nigeria has ostensibly abandoned the appeal as the time allowed for them to file their appellant brief is at the verge of elapsing with no sign in sight that they are ready to take the book by the own. Other far-reaching strategies agreed upon to ensure that we give the federal government a hot chase for their incompetent appeal will remain private. But that it may the routine visit afforded me the opportunity to carefully listen to Onyendo's complaint over his deteriorating health condition. The DSS is now indirectly awaiting the unthinkable to happen to Onyendo, but God forbid. The world is hereby reminded once again that Onyendo Namdekano has since on the 13th, of, 13th day of October 2022 be legally discharged and acquitted of all free various allegations and contained in the seven current amended charge framed against him by the federal government and which small screams charge has equally been struck out by the court of appeal and lay to everlasting rest what we found very disturbing and inconceivable to compel to comprehend is why the federal government has refused to be orders made by a court of competent jurisdiction. We directed them to immediately release Onyende. Rather, the federal government has hopefully treated the court orders with greatest disdain and impunity. Our current demand to the DSS is simple. Onyende should be allowed access to his physical, his personal and physical as was long ordered by the federal government, by the federal high courts, Abuja, I beg your pardon. The lawless DSS has remained adamant and continued to unnecessarily subject Onyendo to human forbidding treatment, and this is totally unacceptable. We are likewise placing the world on notice that should anything untoward happen to Onyendo, the world shall hold the federal government of Nigeria and the Director General of the DSS fully responsible should any harm before Onyendo. Nevertheless, our formidable legal team, eminently led by an legal icon, Chief Mike Uzekume San, have already swung into action to illegally address this lawless and reprehensible conduct by the DSS and be assured that no court in Nigeria we sanction the obvious art of executive lawlessness and recklessness. Oyendo also seized the opportunity presented by the visit to express his profound gratitude to Umu Chineke for standing firm with him in the trying period. He is very delighted with your peaceful and exemplary conduct thus far. Oyendo continues to urge you all to remain focused and law abiding as you have always been particularly now we are existing the tunnel
be assured that he shall surely end in praises. Omuchineke, as the federal government has played their final card, which strategy is dead on arrival? He said. Hmm. They will free him when he's already finished. I keep saying it. The only time he messed up was the day he allowed his Buhari government to grab him. When he cannot see. Okay, this someone just dropped that. So guys, what's your take concerning this? The truth is that the Nigerian government knows they have nothing against him. And even the, the Supreme Court they are running to, their judgment is not going to be different from appeal court. Unless, unless Nigerian government is going to tell us now that the constitution in Nigeria is not different. You understand? Unless that is the only way the judgment of appeal court will not be different from the Supreme Court. In the first place, you did the wrong thing by extraditing him to Nigeria. He was kidnapped. He was tortured. For good eight days, he was chained on the floor. God helped him. He would have died, but he survived. He brought him to Nigeria, chained, blindfolded, and all that. And you think you will win the case. You see, God always makes our enemies to make mistakes. And their mistake will be used, it will now be used against them. And that is why Malami is really very angry. He never knew that what he did is going to bring him to this extent. You know now, he, he is the AGF. He feel that they can do whatever they like, just like the game they are playing right now. Court have said the releasing. They said no, they are not satisfied yet. He's still telling the world that Nigerian government is going to press more charges against the IPOB leader. Well, now that uh, lawyers are say, uh, uh, Kano's lawyer is now saying that Nigerian government have abandoned their appeal, we don't know what's next again. We are watching to see what is going to happen. I'm dropping it there. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section? Thank you.